Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. A couple was found dead in their house in Yamakoroto village, Kituto Masaba constituency Nyamira, after a gruesome murder. The couple had visited the village from the United States where they live. Police said the body of Edward Morema Nyangechi, 63 years old, a resident in the United States, was found lying dead near his garage with deep cuts on his head while his hands and legs were tied with binding wire. His wife, Grace Morema, 60 years old, was later found found in the bedroom with deep cuts around her neck and tied up in a similar manner to her husband. Police stamped the incident murder. Masaba North Deputy Police Commander Robert Ndambiri said they suspect they were tortured before being murdered. <laughs> Mufungo na mwanzo walifungwa mikono inaonekana hao wauaji walikuja wakawateka nyara kwanza wakawafunga mikono na baadaye wakafunga mdomo ndio asipiga duru na kuwakata they had the deep cuts both on their heads so tunaona zaidi wamekufa asali soto of bleeding excessive bleeding we have launched the investigation so a backup team was sent to the area to investigate the murder the bodies were moved to Kisi referral hospital awaiting a post-mortem such incidents have been on the rise in the region and are linked to land tussles some of them remain unresolved gangs are usually hired to commit the murders. Police were holding two employees, a maid and a farm worker for grilling over the murder. House help to the couple recounted today that the deceased were visited by a mysterious man on the night of the incident. According to the house help who had only spent a few days in the home since employment, the mysterious man was known to the couple Edward Morema and Sarah as perceived from their interactions. Neither she nor the farm boy, also accused as a suspect, could identify Identify the stranger as they had never seen him before. She intimated that she prepared supper for the couple and their visitor before retiring to bed in a room upstairs. The following morning, around 10 a.m., the couple's grandson, Samuel Matundura, sent a young girl to check on the couple as they could not be reached on the phone. According to reports, the house help told the girl that the couple had not woken up. This prompted the grandson to visit the house given that everything seemed odd. He stated, we had talked and we agreed to meet. He had been in Western Kenya for some construction activities and he had just returned home, so I wanted to know how they were doing. Matundura walked around the house during his checkup before discovering the couple's bodies. According to Matundura, his grandfather's body was discovered in the garage with hands tied to the back as has been reported he had wounds inflicted by a knife and his throat slit on the other hand the grandmother was found in one of the bedrooms her hand was also tied to the back and her throat slit and so that is how the police investigating the murder of the duo took the house girl and the farm boy for questioning preliminary investigations indicate no sign of forced entry to the house the cctv was also not working at the time of the murder i have happened to see a couple of videos of the couple on social media uh, specifically on facebook and this seemed to be a very very uh, loving couple and the people around them especially in the village really really loved them and you can see how shocked they are and you can see the buzz there are several posts of people who know them personally interacted with them personally on social media showing how much they are shocked and how bad they feel that this couple passed away people 
people have put out how much this couple helped them so they were really involved when it came to the community you could see how shaken the crowd was as they saw their bodies being put in the police vehicle one man who wailed put out they used to help me when we were still living in karaoke town and also sent me money from time to time they were good to me bought me food and also supported me all the way from the united states after telling them of my problems someone else shared probably they were killed out of jealousy a friend of the family called henry m ongeri took to his facebook page terming the murder brutal and senseless posting we are yet to come to terms with the heart-wrenching brutality and viciousness of the crime we are traumatized by the cold-blooded nature of the attack that has snuffed the dreams of many who looked upon edward as a leader guide and mentor edward was the county coordinator and manager of bakire se movement which is a community group and a According to Ongeri, he had a passion for serving all. Finish his statement by putting, we will miss his unmistakable smile, selflessness, and devotion to the betterment of the community across borders. We have lost. Now, this is a case that is still under investigation. So far, what we know is what the house help has put out. There was a mysterious man in the house. They could not identify him because they have never met him before. This is still a developing story. I will continue to follow up. And in case of any updates, I'll bring it right here. Make sure you've subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you're notified once those uploads are up. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. And we want to send our deepest condolences to the family, the people who loved this a couple, the community at large. We want to say, Poleni Sana, may they rest in peace.